I'm a little over halfway, I think. Or close to, something like that. I'm not going no further. I'm sending the camera with Amber. If she ever comes down here to me. Woo! Feels like my lungs are about to blow out of my chest. Pratt is here. Where are we? We are at Independence Rock, a Wyoming State Historical Site. Is that it back there? Yes. yes. Looks like you can climb it as well. There are definitely some people doing it. Definitely people going up it. Gotta walk through the little skinny people thing. Just to keep the animals from going through. Oh wait a minute, Amber's going through, that's an animal. <laughs> so this is part of, Independence Rock is part of the Oregon Trail. What is that? Trail. A rock. <laughs> Uh, a bunch of, I think the Oregon Trail was a, where a bunch of settlers, they used to travel along the Oregon Trail to migrate. I don't remember, I used to know. It's one of the ways that settlers got to the west. I saw an expansion! I don't know if we're going to climb it or not because it's starting to rain. It's one massive rock though. Hold the ring off until we get back. You don't want to climb up the steep part? No. 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 Why are you sitting down? Y'all, I'm a little over halfway. And I'm stopping. I'm sending the camera with Amber. If she ever comes down here to me. Woo! Feels like my lungs are about to blow out of my chest. All these signatures all over this rock and a couple others as well. Elizabeth's reading some signatures. Kayla's going to look for some more signatures. Some broken rocks on top of 
independent rock. Let my legs start feeling. They're wobbling a little bit. So I let them rest before the kids come back down. So hopefully I can make it down. Stop my leg collapsing. Sometimes I feel like my knee was my knee collapsing. Let's just blame it on too many years of parkour. It's already started going down. Kayla's chilling with me. I had a great idea. Whenever it gets snowy in here, there's probably a bunch of snow storing here. But I'm not too much no, you're not. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. I think I'm going to ditch on you. Alright, don't run. Take your time, go slow. One humongous rock. I don't know if you can really tell it on video, but there's definitely grooves coming down like it. Like where the water water makes its way down. There's a dead little kid coming. Whew. Somebody else coming. Nothing. Nothing. Who can't handle? Addy. That's right. I'm Addy. I'm dead. Now it's just Addy. Addy too. Addy too. Says 1858. That's the way for me. Sure. Or oh, you can go that way if you want. Flattens out pretty good right here. Not too terribly steep right here. <laughs> I could drive. No. You've given me some teaching things. I'm sure I could do it. I kind of drove once when we were at Josh's. They made it! I'm not sure about that. Well, you made it down. What? A couple more hikers hiking up a different side than what we did. And for those of you watching, Independence Rock rest area, where we just went up Independence Rock, also has a RV dump station back behind it. Free. Free. So that's a good deal. And it's, I don't know, halfway between Casper, Wyoming and Rollins, Wyoming, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tulu. We are passing Devil's Gate near Independence Rock.
fences that aren't really fences. They're called snow fences. And they're made to hold the drifts back. The wind hits them. Makes the snow drift over there off the highway. Instead of out here across the highway. At least that's their their goal. Look up here, we got some on both sides of the highway.